Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about skewness. I'm going to show you how to estimate skewness in SPSS, and then how to test it for statistical significance, and then examine it in a distribution of data, as well as some pointers as to when you should be worried about the level of skewness and when you shouldn't. So let's get into it. I've got two variables, one called salary and one called subscale one. They're going to have different uh, types of skew. So let's look at salary first. To get skewness, go into Analyze, Descriptives, Frequency, put that into here, Variables, go into Statistics, click on Skewness, and that's all you need to click. Now Continue. Now i also going to choose the chart because I want to look at the uh, tail of the distribution. I'm going to unclick Display Frequency because I don't actually want to see the raw uh, values in a table. Then I'm going to click OK. OK, so SPSS uh, gives out a pretty basic table uh, with the uh, valid observations. 474 observations were in this salary variable, and skewness was estimated at 2.125. Uh, the standard error associated with this skewness level is 0.112. So skewness. 2.125, but the standard error is 0.112. And to determine the statistical significance of a skewness value, you need to divide the skewness by the standard error of skewness. And if that ratio is larger than 1.96, we say that the effect is statistically significant, p less than 0.05. Because in this case, we're using the z distribution to compare the obtained z value uh, which is derived from the ratio of skewness at a standard error skew. So let's test this. So we use 2.125 divided by 0.112. And that equals 19.267. Did I calculate that correctly? Let's see. 2.125 divided by 0.112. Ah, that's correct. 18.97 is the uh, z value associated with the statistical analysis. And because the 18.97 is larger than 1.96, we reject the null hypothesis of no skew. Uh, and we might become concerned about the level of skewness in the data, which might prevent us from doing some particular analyses that are parametric in nature, like a t-test or a regression analysis. Now let's look at the actual distribution of these data. This is what a skew, this is what skewness of 2.125 looks like. That's very skewed. Uh, so 2.125 is a fairly skewed distribution. It's positively skewed, with the tail coming out on the right side of the distribution rather than the left side. So that's positively skewed. So the skewness is statistically significant. It's greater than 1.96. And it looks pretty skewed just by the distribution. But that's probably not.